And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world. And we start with a baby milk scare that is gripping a French dairy giant. Lactalis is scrambling to get on top of the growing crisis with dozens of babies infected with salmonella after drinking tainted baby formula produced by the company. For more on this and other news, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Aram, some scary revelations coming out. It, is, it has also been reported that the firm has been producing salmonella tainted baby milk for, the, for more than a decade. That's right, Zemin. The crisis first came to light late last year. Between mid August and December, 38 so called salmonella agona infections were reported during that time, 36 of them clearly linked to lactalis milk. A group representing victims' families say at least 10 more cases are unaccounted for. The scandal led to nearly 12 million tins of baby formula being recalled worldwide. However, the issue dates back longer than most people thought. The CEO of Lactalis, Emmanuel Besnier, was quoted by French media as saying that the same strain of salmonella was also responsible for some infections back in 2005. The outbreak occurred at the Cryon plant, then owned by a firm called Celia, which contaminated over 140 babies. Lactalis took over Celia in 2006, but the problem remained as 25 infants were infected from 2006 until the 2017 outbreak. Fortunately, French health authorities have said that all of the babies who fell ill due to the salmonella tainted milk made a good recovery. Several families, however, have already filed complaints against Lactalis, and others are also planning to take action against French supermarket chains, which were, which were selling recalled products. Some of the country's largest supermarkets have acknowledged that some of the baby milk remained on their shelves after the recall. As well as the recalls and promising to compensate affected families, Lactalis said it will permanently close the facility at the Crayon plant. It has also pledged to reinforce controls on baby milk products and have tests performed by a second laboratory.